Hello everybody and welcome back to our second segment of learning gymnastics from home. My name is Crystal and I'm from the Halifax Alta Gymnastics Club and I'm excited to have some fun with you again today. So, hope you're ready. Make sure you've used the washroom. If you haven't, do that now. Press pause. All right, so I've got my volunteers, Jillian and Tyler, and they're gonna help us with our warm up activity. So it's gonna be a game called Jungle Run. So for this, you're gonna need to have uh, some space, not, not a ton of space. For all of these activities, you don't really need any big space. It could be your family room, it could be your bedroom, just have a little bit of space. You're going to be running on the spot. All right, so our game is called Jungle Run. Now, Jillian and Tyler, you guys are going to run on the spot. So everybody at home, follow along. Running on the spot. Don't forget to use your arms. Proper running technique here. All right, now, when I say... So we're running through the jungle, we're coming across something. It could be a branch, it could be a, a bear, but we're gonna duck. So go down low, make your squat. Okay, fabulous. Okay, back to running. And jump. Good, and back to running. And our next one, we've got a dodge, side to side. Side to side. And running. All right, great job. Hopefully, your breathing is a little bit heavier now. It's harder to breathe because you're working your muscles. You're getting your heart pumping, your blood flowing. All right, duck. Jump. Dodge. Running. Jump. Running. So you'll always go back to running after you do your action. All right, dodge. All right, back to your running. We're running through the jungle. Oh look, I see a bear, duck. Down low, that's it. All right, we gotta run again, come on. All right, we've got a dodge, there's a cheetah. A cheetah in the jungle. Dodge that cheetah, and back to running. We're almost through the jungle. There's a little, little more to go. We gotta jump over a few logs, three logs, jumping three times over the logs. And back to running. The end is in sight. I see the sun shining through. Duck! Ooh, that was close. There was a toucan there. All right, and jump three times. Awesome, we made it through the jungle. Was that tough? Yeah. Good, I hope everyone at home has got a little bit of sweat going on right now. You're working hard. Here, Tyler's, Tyler's struggling to breathe. Whew, are you glad you made it out of the jungle? Good, all right, so that was our jungle run. All right, everyone, our first Exercise is going to be a balance. We're gonna do our front support, which is a really important position for us to learn. I'm gonna get you guys to turn sideways so people can kind of see what's going on. All right, so do your front support. So your feet go behind and you see, uh, sorry, watch, sorry about my hand there. All right, so uh, your shoulders should be directly over top of your wrist. So leaning forward, feet together, just like that. Man, I have some good volunteers here. All right, just like that. So we're gonna hold it. I want you guys to count to 10, nice and slow out loud together. One, Ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent, okay, now you can come down. All right, Tyler, could you grab that ball for us? So if you have a ball at home, I'm sure you have something that can roll. Um, I want you to go get that. Uh, and then we're going to use that for the next exercise. So if you need to go get a ball, just pause our show. And if you have one close by, grab it. Grab it. 
All right, so Jillian's gonna hold a front support. This one you can do with a partner. Maybe it's your pet. That'll make it really challenging. All right, so Tyler's gonna roll the ball underneath Jillian's body. So underneath through the middle, and then he's gonna go and bring it, roll it all the way back around. See if you can do five times around. So that's one. All right, you guys should do this at home too. Two. Can you go behind her instead, Tyler? Go the other way so people can see better. There we go. Good. Keep going. I'd like you to make the circles as big as you can so you're working more muscles. If you're doing small circles around their, their feet, then it's not as challenging. So if you want to work your muscles out really well, try and do the more challenging way. All right, they're going to switch. And now Tyler's going to do his front support. And Jillian is going to roll the ball around. All right, so switch partners. You might have to recruit a grown-up here if you don't have any siblings at home. All right, hand shoulder width apart, Tyler. So your hands are a little too wide. So move them a bit closer. There, and he's holding a squeezy position. Well, Jillian rolls the ball around five times. And if you're looking for more of a challenge, try doing it 10 times. It's a workout for the person rolling the ball, but it's also a tough position to be holding for that person holding front support. All right, great job. And great job at home. All right, everyone, now we're going to be doing our back support or it sometimes also called a rear support. So you're going to go sideways, you two, so people can see the side angle a little bit. There we go. And you're going to keep your fingers pointing forwards. Forwards, Jillian. That's backwards oh. fingers. There we go. Forwards fingers. That's a more challenging hold. It works different muscles in your forearm when your fingers are forward. So we're going to start with forward fingers. And your hips are going up as high as they can. Just like that. Oh. So great. I want everyone to count to 10 along with J Jillian and Tyler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. All right, now rest, relax, stretch out your wrists, put them together and make a milkshake. Fingers together. Make a milkshake. Stretch out your wrists. All right. Now we're going to try the same support, back support, with your fingers forwards. Did we do forwards already? We yeah. did. Okay, Jillian, go back to your same place you were, and we're doing backwards hands now. All right, so if your fingers are pointing away from your feet, and you're holding your hips up as high as they can go. Come on. Oh, yeah. And count to 10 with Jillian and Tyler. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they are quick counters. Let's try it one more time, everyone. All right, come on. One. Two, three, four, five, Lift six, those hips. seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. All right. And now our next one, we're going to get that ball again. All right, partner one in support. You can pick whichever way you like to do for your fingers, and you're going to go around five times. So remember, go, go the long way so our viewers at home can see what we're doing. Maybe, Jillian, can you turn sideways for us? There we go. That'll be better. All right. Here he goes. So we're rolling it and we're keeping our bowl on the ground. So let's go right under her bum. And Tyler, you're going to move your whole body around a little bit more too. So you're going to go all the way from to one side to the other. Good. Yep. So circling around your partner as you go. So this is good uh, movement for the person pushing the ball. And Tyler's doing kind of a, I don't know, a crawling action. But I, I'd, if you can, I'd like to see you on your hands and feet so it's a little bit more challenging. So can you do a bear walk position? Just to keep your hands pressing on the floor, though. So this is, and then that partner's got to really lift up. You can see Jillian. She's finding this challenging. Oh, are you relieved he's at five? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, now switch partners. All right, so his rear support. And Jillian, if you can, try that bear walk to get around. And you're circling around all the way around him, but your ball is going under him five times. Oh, she's even keeping her legs straight. 
Now, for a little bit of a, a change, can you do your lowest bear crawl where you're getting as low to the ground without touching your knees as possible? Bend, yep, get, bend your knees and go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is that hard? Yeah. All right. There's a lot of variations that you can be doing to make things a little bit more challenging. And as you can see, we're not using a lot of space. Good job. How many do you have left? One more. One more, Tyler. How's it going there? Is it tricky? Not that tricky. Not that tricky. He's so strong. I bet you guys are strong at home too. All right. Okay. Now, I think you guys probably need a drink. So we're going to wait a minute while you guys go grab a water bottle or a drink. See if you can do it in the next one minute. Ready, get set, go. All right, quick, go grab a drink. While they're getting a drink, I just wanted to say we miss you guys at the gym. And uh, we miss your smiling faces. We miss your laughter. I hope you're uh, doing some fun stuff at home besides this video, which is super fun and super cool. But I hope, uh, hope you're helping out around the house, maybe learning something new. Maybe you're learning how to juggle. Maybe you're learning how to change the tire. Maybe you're learning how to cook or bake. Maybe something, some healthy recipes or some smoothies. Um, I know my kids have been doing lots of helping out around the house, learning how to do the laundry, the dishes. It's been pretty awesome. So uh, hopefully you guys are learning something too. All right. I think our minute is just about up. Our participants have arrived back. And uh, move back a little so they can see your face there, Tyler. All right, now we're gonna be on to the next uh, balance, which is our Y scale. Now, I'm not sure Tyler's ever done one before. Jillian, you have? All right, how about you, Jillian? Have you done a Y scale? Yeah. All right, so Y scale uh, is one of the scales that boys actually do as well as girls, but boys, uh, you often will see it when they're competing that they'll put a Y skill in their floor routine. So you're going to start with a one foot balance with your knee out to the side. So sideways knee, your foot is going to be close to your knee on the inside, Tyler. Good. Now you're going to reach down with the same hand as the knee and grab onto your heel. So Tyler, I want you to grab onto your heel from the inside. So bring your hand in front of your knee because your knee's sticking out to the side, just like that. Now you're gonna stand tall while you're doing that. Stand up tall, and then you're gonna slowly lift and straighten your leg while you can hold your other arm out for balance. Just like that, wow, so practice that. I want you guys to practice that 10 times. So just try, don't worry about holding it very long. I just want you to work on the action of reaching down, grabbing onto your heel in the front. So uh, often, uh, something that I see kids doing when they're doing it is grabbing their foot like this and trying to do it. So I want you, I'm gonna take off my slippers so you can see better. So you're gonna make sure your knees to the side and your hand goes in front to grab onto your heel. Okay, not like, not grabbing it at the back. So you're gonna reach in front of your foot and then extend. Okay, all right, so my part, my uh, participants here are gonna do it along with you. We're gonna do it 10 times. Okay, so pick one leg. You're gonna do it 10 times and you don't have to hold it, just up and then down. Practice just reaching in front. So pick the same foot the whole time for 10 times. So I don't switch them around. <laughs> Remembering how to follow directions without being in school is tricky. Testing our brains today. All right, so 10 times, reach in front and extend as high as you can. Now, these guys, uh, Jillian especially, she does a lot of gymnastics, so she's quite flexible. And some of you guys at home will be flexible too to do this, but some of you might not, and that's okay. So I just want you to try your best. So Jillian, could you do one 
where maybe they don't straighten their leg all the way. So just like, yeah, less than that even. Like bend your knee more. That's fine. So she, I want you to focus on having good posture. You don't have to worry about, I'd rather see you look like this with good posture than look like this with your legs straight, if that makes sense. All right, so now we've done, have we done 10 of them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so stay in our frame there, Tyler. Now we're going to do the other leg. So you guys are going to switch spots, otherwise you're going to kick each other in the face. We don't want that. All right, so now you're going to do 10 times on the other leg. So reach in front. Yeah, and see if you can have nice pointed toes when you do this. So point your, yeah, so you're pointing your foot. Yeah, Jillian had to think about that a little bit. That's okay. So your other arm will be extended to the side for balance. And you're going to do 10 times. Keep track. I hope we remember how to count to 10. Good. Now, your bottom leg, make sure your foot is pointing forward. So you can see Tyler's foot is kind of torqued in a little bit. That makes it really tough to balance. So see if you can keep your bottom foot straight. And you're just slowly lifting while you're holding your other arm out to the side. And you know what? This is using those core or stomach muscles that we were just working on in our front supports and our rear supports. So when you're doing it, try to feel your muscles engaged and activated. So I want you to try it one more time each on that same leg you just did, but I want you to actually feel your, your core muscles squeezing and your arm out to the side tightly. And I think you'll probably be more successful in holding it. All right. So we've done 10 on each leg. We haven't held them. That's okay. We're just trying to figure out how to grab onto our foot properly today. That's okay. If you're up for a challenge now, which I'm sure these guys are, we're going to do it three times on each foot, holding it as long as we can. So it's kind of like our one foot balance that we've done before. Find something on the wall in front of you to look at. Okay, so three times on one leg, holding it as long as you can. Holding it, holding it. Good, that's all right. Holy. Good, now point that foot. Remember to keep our core muscles squeezing. Oh, that's okay. Go slowly as you extend your leg. Take your time. And then you guys can switch sides again. And you're going to do three on the other leg. Remember, we're trying to hold it this time. So even your fingers should be extended. Your core, your stomach, and your back muscles are tight. If you have any disasters, just try it again. That's okay. You know what? You're not going to be perfect the first time. You might, you're probably not even going to be perfect the second or third. It takes lots and lots of practice to really perfect a skill or a move. So don't get discouraged at home. Just keep on trying. All right, great job. All right, our final supports for today are our side supports. So back to that front support. Can you guys just, yep, yeah, you can face forwards. Our side supports, you're going to lift one hand up and look at the wall in front of you or something that's on the wall. Your feet should be kind of one on top of the other and your legs should be straight. And you wanna make a straight line from your shoulders to your feet. You don't wanna have your bum sticking out. So see if you can make a straight line. It might be tricky. And I want you to hold it, see if you can hold it for 10 seconds on each side. If 10 seconds is easy, you can up that to 20, to 30, to 60. Whoa, it's not easy. So lifting the hips so, you, so that your hips not drooping. And don't forget to breathe. Breathing is really important. Excellent. Now, Jillian, can, Tyler, can you come off to the side for a second? I want Jillian to do a side a plank, but put your hands over here. And you're going to lift. No, nope, just your support. You're going to lift your left hand and show us a plank. Which one is your left? Can she do it? Good, just like that. Now, if you see here, I'm gonna tuck in her shirt just so you can see better. So, 
You want this to be nice and straight in here. So now can you sink your hip down low? So you want to try not to look like that with that droopy hip. Okay, so lifting it up tall. She's squeezing in her sides here. She's squeezing all around. Excellent. So that's what you want to be feeling. Squeezy bodies. All right, great job on our, our static um, supports and balances. Uh, stay tuned. Our next topic is coming up. All right, friends. So we are now going to do some tuck sits and some L sits. So Jillian's going to show us. We grabbed a couple of our um, pillows. It could be some cushions off your couch. Uh, be creative. Look around your house. See what you've got. Um, see what will work. You just want something that's a little bit elevated off the ground. The lower to the ground, the more challenging it will be. Um, so we have a couple variations here. So she's going to put her hands on the pillows and she's going to push with nice pushy arms and she's going to try and lift her bum off the ground for maybe one second. That's fine. I want you to do it 10 times, Jillian. Up and down and up and down and down. Yep. It doesn't have to be for long. You're just going to push, pushy arms, squishy arms, pushy arms, squishy arms. <laughs> wow. You guys just went for a, a, a ride there. Sorry about that. All right, the challenges of working from home. All right, now, the next thing is going to be on a higher surface. So she's gonna do her tuck, tuck sit using stools. You could use chairs that are lower to the ground. Put something soft down below if you're worried about falling on your face, but if you've got nice, pushy, strong arms and you're looking straight ahead, you shouldn't be falling on your face, so. Uh, she's going to show us, so flat hands, and she's going to lift up her knees in her tuck and hold that, see if you can hold it for 10 seconds to start. So nice high knees, as high as you can get them, looking straight ahead, don't look down. Keep good form with pushy, strong arms, and then relax after 10 seconds. Whew, take a breath, we're going to do it three times. You're going to get a workout today, you guys, and you got these guys and me to thank. Good job, Jillian. All right, she's got one. Now, I hope you're doing this along with us. You may have had to pause to go collect your, your chairs and stuff, that's fine. We'll wait for you, just pause and start when it works for you. Excellent, so that's our tucks. A tuck is an, a little bit of an easier one to do than the next variation. The next variation is a pike. When our bodies are longer, they're, they're harder to hold. So the next one, I'm gonna get Tyler to start on the stools because it'll be easier on the stools. And he's going to do his, his L sit. So he's gonna have nice pushy arms and he's gonna lift his legs just like that. Now. Tyler has been practicing this a lot at home. So he's getting quite good. 10 seconds. Holy, that focus and determination. Just 10 seconds, please. Excellent. All right, so you can try that three times for 10 seconds as well. Now, Tyler, I want you to do the next one with your legs a little bit lower. Cause we won't all, I definitely can't do it as high as Tyler can. And that's okay. So try it again for 10 seconds. There we go. As high as you can. The main thing is to not bend your knees if you can. So keep them really super glued straight for 10 seconds. Don't forget to breathe. All right, even you at home, keep on breathing. Just keep breathing, just keep breathing. Don't you right. mean just keep swimming? That's true. That's, That's what true. Dory says. Ah, uh, yes. All right. And our last set of 10. Here he goes. Come on at home. You can do it. You'll probably be feeling it in your stomach at this point. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep breathing. Keep squeezing. Nice job. Way to go at home, too. Good for you. Okay. Now we're going to practice riding a bike without a bike. So we're gonna hold our support using our chairs or stools or what, whatever you have at home. And you're gonna try and lift your knees up and down and up and down, but you've gotta keep your focus forward. You can't be looking down and being all wiggly. You've gotta have those pushy arms and 
focus ahead. Okay, you're gonna try 10 bicycles forward, and then I want you to try 10 backwards. Ooh, the backwards one might be tricky. Good, was that backwards? Was it trickier than the forward one? Yeah. All right, I want you guys to do it at home too. 10 forwards and 10 backwards and do it twice each way. All right, Tyler, so one more time forwards, 10. Good job. You could put on some music to do this. After our video, you could be practicing this some more. All right, now backwards, 10. Oh, that looks forwards. There. Oh, it's turning into forwards. This one takes focus, doesn't it? Oh, I like this one. Oh, yes. I really like that one. Let's do the three times instead. All right, so one more set of 10 each direction, you guys. Feel the burn, come on. 10 seconds forwards or 10, 10 circles. Good, all right, then the backwards ones. Take a lot more focus. Good, remember you're looking forwards. Yeah, there you go. Did you do 10? All right, way to go, we did it. All right, everyone, so now we're gonna do an inchworm. Some of you know this one, we, we do it on the floor sometimes, on the beam sometimes. Uh, we're gonna do it at home, and we're gonna try and keep our arms and our legs really super straight. And you're gonna walk your hands as far as you can, hold it, one, two, three, and the knees straight walking up, try not to let them bend. And bring them in as close as you can to your hands without bending your knees, that's an important part. Then you're gonna walk backwards, feet first. Stop the feet, hold one, two, three, and then walk the hands towards the feet. So. You're noticing one body part's moving at a time. So your hands move, freeze, hold, then your feet. Then the opposite, your feet first, hold, then your hands, okay? So there and back, and I want you to see if you can do it five times. All right, so go along with Jillian. She's gonna help you move back a bit to start, Jillian, so they can see the whole action. All right, so following along, walk those hands, one, two, three, and walk the feet. Good, and feet walking to your furthest point without falling on your face. One, two, three. Way to go, whoo! Keep breathing, keep squeezing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Who do you want to take a break? Yeah. Oh, okay, Tyler. Do you want to be a demonstrator for the rest of them? She needs a break. You guys at home, you're doing awesome. If you need a quick break, take a quick break. This one is really tough. It works your core, it works your arms, it works your legs. It's a full body activation. All right, so starting back there, Tyler. Let's see if he can do a few of these. So we're at two, well, three with the demo. All right, so walking the hands, flat hands. Try not to go on your fingertips. Yeah, you always wanna have your hands flat so you don't end up twisting your, your wrist funny. One, two, three, and walk your feet. Walk your feet. All as close as you can without bending your knees. Good, now walk your feet backwards. Tyler's favorite color is orange, so he is sporting an orange t-shirt today. One, two, three, and oh, walk your hands. All the way back. Good job, woo! Take a breather. And then you have one more forward and backward. All right, you're doing great at home. Keep on breathing, squeezing. Good job. Yep, follow along, you're doing great. 
and then backwards feet. Freeze for one, two, three, and hands. That's a tough one. That's probably the toughest part of this one is the holding action and the hands walking backwards. That's a tough one. It, uh, it's using, has a lot of your body weight on your hands and then trying to move. So great job, great effort, everyone. All right, we're gonna do some handstand preparation drills that you can do in your space, but make sure that you have like a, um, a carpeted area or something soft, uh, just in case we don't want you to hurt your head or anything. So your head is important. It's got your brain. All right, so we're going to do our, what we call a lever. So um, you're gonna start in your lunge, bend your knee in the front, and then you're gonna tilt forward like a teeter-totter into a lever. Her shoulders are covering her ears, and then back to your lunge. Good, now squeezing your core. This is where those core muscles come into play. You're gonna do it five times. Ears hiding between your shoulders, even more. Okay, try it again. I'm gonna get something that I want to use to help her. job so five times following along at home now I to, to kind of enforce the proper arms here we want nice pushing arms ears that are tucked between our shoulders I'm taking two little stuffies that we have and I'm going to you could use sponges you could use something you have at home and you're going to kind of put them someone can help you put them in between if you need a hand and then you're going to keep them there so when she does her lever she is gonna drop them if she doesn't uh, keep the proper form, okay? So seeing if she can do that. And watch your back doesn't arch while you're doing it. All right, now I want you to do it on the other leg, Jillian. Okay. All right, so she's gonna, now I want you to do five levers on your other leg. So you're lunging with your knee bent in front, that's fine, you're trying to keep your back as flat as you can, and your arms are really extending and pushing forward. You can look at the ground in front of you. Don't look at your toe because you don't want to roll forward, but you can look in front of it. All right, great job. So five each leg. And now we're going to add on to that. Okay, so you can use these uh, stuffies or, or items at home uh, for the next exercise as well. So I want you to stick them in your in here again. And now we're going to add um, a, a hand touch to the ground. So she's gonna do her the same action. Oh, she's gonna start in her lunge. She's going to leave her forward and then continue to touching her hands and then back to leave her and lunge. Good. Now, when you do this one, I want you to really focus on not on continuing your leg like a teeter-totter as your hands touch the ground and then back up your leg goes down as your arms go up so it's that teeter-totter action okay can you show me one without a teeter-totter action so this is common um, and and you might start this way because it's tricky to do it the other way so like this and down okay can you show me one with a lever though so let's do a lever and then don't let your leg continue to rise Okay, like that. So see how her leg just stayed in the lever while her hands stuck down? I want you to feel that continuation. Okay, so try it again. So lunge to start, lever, continue, and then back to lunge. All right, so I want everyone at home to follow along. You can go get a couple stuffies or sponges or bean bags or whatever you have around the house. Um, you could even bunch up some pillowcases, anything that can just hang out and not, um, and you'll have, it'll be a bit challenging so that you're trying not to drop them. All right, so you're going to do five on each leg with the hand touch. Okay, both hands are touching at the same time. All right, so, so once you've done five on one leg, you're gonna do five on the other leg. Good. So follow along at home, 
Focus on squeezing. Look at the, um, so Jillian's got nice pointed toes. See if you can have those nice gymnastics pointed toes going on. And squeezing. Don't forget to breathe while you squeeze. Great. See it both legs? Yeah. Five each way. Excellent. All right. Thanks a lot, Jillian. All right, everyone. For this one, you're still gonna wanna make sure you have that soft surface you're doing it on. So nothing too squishy, but like a little carpet or area rug. And I'm gonna make, get you to move back a little bit, Tyler, just so we can see your hands. Um, yeah, move towards that other couch a little bit for me, perfect. All right, so we're gonna do our one foot donkey kick. So making sure that the leg that's on the ground is not very far from your, like it's not super far back from your hands. Yeah, and one leg up. You're gonna be making sure you're looking at your hands in this exercise always. As soon as you look at your belly, you're going to do a forward roll or a plop to your back. So you're gonna do 10 times on each leg, a one-footed donkey kick. Looking at your hands with nice pushy arms. If your arms are always pushing and tall, then you won't be crumpling onto your head. So that, that part of our safety, um, that, that will be safe. So 10 each leg. Don't kick so high that you're gonna fall over. You're just trying to learn to uh, control and have nice, tight body parts. So see, if, Tyler, see if you can point your toe. That's up in the sky. Oh, by pointing his toe, that's going to make his everything else have to squeeze. And then that makes your handstand progression that much better. Don't forget to breathe over there. Good job. All right, so that's our one foot donkey kick. Now, Tyler, could you show me a lunge now? So you can follow along at home too. So in our lunge, I would like to see you do your lever forward and then a one foot donkey kick and then back to your lunge, just like that. So it's a mini version of our handstand, um, making sure we have a soft area around us. And I don't want your feet to come together at the top for this exercise. I want them to be apart the whole time. But I'd love to see how squeezy your legs can be so they're not bending. Good, and you're starting and finishing. Let's do it one more time, your very best. You, at home too, make sure you're trying your very best. It's okay if it's not perfect. Remember, it takes lots of practice. Excellent, I like that lunge shape. Look at his arms reaching up nice and tall. Excellent, thank you, Tyler. All right, now, we're gonna do it on your other leg. You know what? You're not going to do your handstands usually on both legs, but it would be good to practice both sides. So you're gonna do your other foot. That's okay. So try it five times at home on your other foot. And look at those hands with those nice pushy arms. Arms up tall when you finish. Yep. This is a good arm workout too. If you have to keep your arms up above the whole time from start to finish, your arms are probably feeling tired because you're working those muscles. Don't forget your donkey kick. Great job. Thank you, Tyler. All right, in our last handstand progression, uh, actually, I'm lying to you. I have two. Jillian, could you come to the floor over here? And I would like to see um, a um, switch leg handstand where you kick up and you switch legs. So you can try this one if you're looking for more of a challenge. Um, so you're going to do your lunge. Yep, that's fine. So just a different variation of your handstand where you're gonna land on the opposite leg. Okay, so you're switching and lunge. Good, can you do it a little slower where you do your lunge lever to start? Lunge lever and then back, nice and tall. Excellent, two more times. So I'm gonna do five of those starting with each foot. So five on each foot. Good. Is that your first foot finished or are you on your second? 
Okay, so now she did five on one foot. Now she's switching to the other foot. And it might feel different because I'm not sure she, something that we don't usually practice is our, our handstands with our opposite foot. But it's good for our brains to think of different different things um, to focus on and it's good for our bodies to not be one-sided. So I hope you're finding this challenging. I hope you're feeling your breathing uh, is a little bit heavier than just sitting around. You're, you're working up a bit of a sweat. So great job at home. Thanks, Jillian. All right, Jillian's gonna show us our next exercise. You're going to elevate your feet a bit. So we're using our couch, hands on the floor. We have a carpeted area, so, but if she's got those strong, pushy arms, she shouldn't be crumpling to her head. So if you can see the shape, she's gonna hold it for 10 seconds and her shoulders are gonna try and go as, on top of her wrist. Now you might find this too tricky, that's okay. You don't have to go right on top. She's just practiced this a lot. Okay, Jillian, can you show one where maybe your bum is back a little ways? Yeah, that's fine. As long as your ears are tucked between your shoulders and you have strong, pushy arms and you're trying to look at your fingers, that is great. So I want you to do three sets of 10 seconds. Okay, so Jillian, you have one more set of 10. All right, so follow along with Jillian. You can point your toes like her, or you can put your feet flat underneath. So tuck your feet normally, Jillian, under. Yeah, like that. Nice and strong. Don't forget to breathe. So 10 seconds, three times. All right. Whew. Now, Jillian, are you up for a challenge? Yeah. Okay. Can you do the same exercise just once with your one leg lifting up high and hold it for five seconds and then the other leg for five seconds? So she's going to lift up. I don't have enough space in my house to show you, but her one leg is lifting up as tall as it can for five seconds and then switch to the other leg. Pushing tall, just like that. So try that at home, find a place that's safe and make sure you have those strong, pushy arms. All right, everyone, we're moving through. We're on to the next uh, activity or the next skill, and it is our back bridge. So Tyler, move back a little bit so we can get you in our, in our frame. And we're going to start by, for those of you who, who maybe aren't too comfortable with bridges yet or um, find them challenging, that's okay. We're going to practice them. So make sure you have a softer space. We've got our area rug here. All right, so you're gonna bend your arms and elbows to the sky. Your fingers should be very close to your shoulders. Now, you're gonna bend your knees and bring your feet flat on the floor. So bend your knees up as much as you can and you can separate your feet. I don't want them to be together. All right, and you're going to push up tall and lift your head right off the floor. Now, Tyler, could you walk your feet in a little closer? You can keep your knees bent, that's fine, but bring your feet closer to your hands. Good, just like that, but make sure when you're doing this that your feet are flat. Don't go in your tip, your tiptoes. And you're gonna hold it five, four, three, two, one. Great, duck your chin to come down. Oops, we gotta work on that over here too. So make sure you duck your chin because our necks are so important. They hold our heads in place, which holds our brain, and we need our brain. So we're gonna try it again, are you guys ready? Bend those arms, bend those knees, push up tall, feet in closer, as close as you can, but your arms have to be straight. Now, Tyler, keep those feet nice and flat. Five, four, three, two, one, duck your chin. There you go, good. Now, we're gonna try it one last time. Tyler, I'd like you to keep your feet apart a little bit and not quite so small of a bridge. We don't want to hurt you. Some of you might be very bendy. So you can, you can kind of, I wouldn't do it too small, but I would like to see your shoulders stretching. So that's an important action for those of you who are working on your walkovers and your back handsprings is having a little bit of that shoulder flexibility. Um, so you have more of a range of motion there. So, Tyler, can you do that bridge again? All right, at home too. 
Bend those arms and knees, elbows to the sky, push up tall. Now, I want to see this part, your chest pushing over towards here as much as you can. That's that shoulder flexibility that we're looking for. So you can rock back and forth like this. So if you're just a mini, one of our primary and great ones, I wouldn't worry about this too much right now. Uh, it might be too advanced for you, but some of our, our older kids, our more advanced kids, um, can be working on this. Good. Duck your chin and come down. Great. Now I want you to do some roly polies just to stretch out your back. So we just did some bridging. Um, I want you to grab onto your legs and roly poly. Okay. Ten times. Back and forth. Really feel your lower back. Stretching. Okay, 10 roly polies. And then after 10, I want you to try a safety stretch. So Tyler probably doesn't know what that is and, and people call it different things. But I'd like to see Tyler after 10, if you can bring your knees, do your roly poly, but bring your knees over your shoulders, but one on each side of your head if you can. And just sink down low and breathe. Breathe just like that. Okay, and I want you to hold that stretch. See if you can hold it for 30 seconds while breathing. You're trying to, the goal would be to touch your knees on the floor, but not all of us are going to be able to do that. And that's okay. We're just trying to feel it stretching. Okay, make sure your chin is down. All right, just like that. You're doing awesome, everyone. Give yourself a pat on the back. And the other side. All right, I want to take a break to get a drink because we've been working hard. So, one minute, pause, get your water bottle, get a drink. Ready, set, go. All right, go get a drink. We'll wait for you. While we're waiting, you guys can go get a drink too. I'll just talk to myself. Really missing you guys. I uh, I challenge you guys all to uh, to do some active stuff. Maybe you're uh, skipping with a skipping rope. Uh, maybe you're out biking as the weather gets nicer. Um, scootering, uh, go for going for a jog or a run. Uh, setting up an obstacle course in your yard uh, with some fun fun moves you can you can use your imagination and be creative i've seen a a lot of our um kids at the gym coming up with obstacle courses in their homes um using tape on the floor painter's tape works great so if you're looking for um a way to create a a fun course through your bedroom and your hall and your kitchen um ask your parents first uh, painter's tape does work really well and it comes off the floor quite easily and you can you know tape down arrows uh, shapes like squares or circles you could do hopscotch um, different things so be creative keep active and keep uh, keep smiling all right now that we're all uh, hydrated we're back and we're ready to do some some aerobic uh, work so we're going to start with some straight jumps. So we're going to put our arms to the side and we're going to bring them down the side and up the front. So 10 times. Move back a little bit, Jillian, so they can see your arms at the top a little bit better. Up and then down. See how she points her toes every time she jumps. All right, now I want 10 straight jumps in a row. You can leave your arms up above and you're squeezing through your core. And 10 times, just like that. All right, we're gonna do our, our single ones again, 10 times without, yep, so straight jumps. One, two, and trying to be nice and quiet on the landing, that works more muscles when you're trying to absorb the landing as opposed to stomp, stomp, stomp. Your muscles don't have to do much work. All right, and our Last one, 10 times back with our consecutive jumps. Point to those feet, point those feet. Great job and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. You at home too. 
All right, now we're gonna do our tuck jumps, the exact same thing. So we're gonna do 10 tuck jumps, trying to be nice and squeezy when we land so we're not stomping. Lifting those knees. Can you turn sideways for us, Jillian, just so they can see the, the knees a little bit more? Good, so at home you're doing this too. 10 tuck jumps. Quiet landings. It's getting hard, it's getting tired. You're getting tired too, you're doing great. Breathe. All right, 10 tuck jumps in a row now. Sideways facing. Here she goes. You too, I'm watching you. Lift those knees up nice and high. Great work and breathe. All right, let's take a rest. Lay down for a second. Lay down. Relax. Breathe. Focus on your breathing. In and out. And in and out. Great job. We've got one more set of tuck jumps each. All right. Here you go. Come on. You can do it. All right. Singles. 10 times. Get those knees cranked up as high as you can. Use those core muscles. You're doing great at home. Keep it up. All right. Now in a row. Oh, maybe not yet. I thought she was ready. Here she goes. Come on. You too. Don't stop. 10 in a row. Great job. And breathe. All right, great job, you guys. All right, um, that just about concludes our, our second um, at-home learning lesson. I hope you're sweating. I hope you're uh, still smiling. And we miss seeing you in the gym, but hopefully we'll be seeing you all real soon. Don't forget to stay home if you can, stay healthy and wash those hands. See you soon.